Sunflower oil, peppermint oil, lemongrass oil, lemon, thyme, lavender, rosemary, eucalyptus oil, clove, tea tree oil. It's just essential oils. This is the most natural fly spray we could find on the internet. We keep flies pretty much under control, moving them every day, having chickens following behind, eating the fly larva from the manure. But still, milking time, flies take advantage. Look at that. Look at all those flies. And see, she gets antsy. She gets antsy and it's hard to milk. Does this work? Let's find out. We've got to make another paddock for the sheep and divide the pigs. These are two things we got to do before we go. Listen to the coyotes. They're They're right there. I hear Winnie responding. Winnie's up there, keeping the coyotes at bay. Too much to do in too little of time. We're gonna try anyway. We're looking for pig traps. I told Josiah to bring them down here, and it looks like maybe he did. We do have two. I think there's one more in the woods. We need three for one waterer. And then we'd have one water for the feeders and one water for the breeders so we could separate them. We have two. And then there's the one I threw up out of the fence. Okay. Thanks for cleaning our windshield. Oh my word. Call the inquirer. The pig boards are where they're supposed to be. How'd he get wet? I don't know. Looks like he spilled out of his diaper. We gotta go change, buddy. Rebecca said, the diapers need to be stripped. I don't know. It's a washing method she has to do every once in a while. All right. Baby, let's get you change real quick. I don't know. It felt pretty full. So maybe it was just full. And what about our moat? I'm told they're coming today. And if not, the contractor's coming today. The water hasn't seeped. That's good. Hey, yeah, the waterproofing's working. We've got two plugs. I've got to be really smart about our chores because I've only got a little over than an hour before our guests come. You want to ride? Good deal. And with too much to do and too little time, I have to think about the priority. I'm thinking I'm going to have to help them with these plugs. Like, what do I need to do that they can't do? Let's go find this other plug. Hopefully it's right where I set it. I threw it over the fence. Okay, good. Just say, look, here it is. We have three plugs. That's exactly what we need. We have no spares though. Do you think you can put a, a fence going the met down that way? Woo, the fit, that's working. You think you guys can do that? Yeah, but not, we ran it that way last time. We need to run it this way. I feel like that's the way to get them to move. Or you need to put the mamas on the side we're moving. You understand? I see. And the babies over here, you know what I mean? Which I did you like better? The babies on the side. Okay, I like that too. Because then no matter where we go, the mamas are always in the front and they'll go over. And then the babies will then follow. We'll have a fence between them. Okay? So you might think about that, doing that when you feed. I will. I'll let you guys figure it out. Here's your plug. These go to the, uh, the breeders, and then the blue tub can go to the feeders. Okay? I'll come check it after you're done. See the mic anywhere? What are y'all eating? Frozen pineapples? Definitely don't have time to retrace, find that mic right now. I see you've gotten comfortable with the bridge. Thanks for running the coyotes off. Don't go, we're about to go. I'm very excited about this. Fly swatter by Synergy Animal Products. And a new Utter brush for cleaning them. Thankfully, the cows are there, but guys, we can all relate. If we're progressing with times of time restriction, too much to do and too little of a time, you gotta prioritize, you gotta prioritize. 
Wow. That with I'm not scared of it. I'm not scared of it because all it is is essential oils. That's handy. My mic cover just fell off right here. These things help reduce wind noise for you guys. Well, you'd probably love to play with that, wouldn't you? Oh my. Sound guy's here. It's like time check. 7.45. About an hour and 15 minutes till we hit record. Hope, hopefully my clock's not wrong. I need to quit in 45 minutes to get ready myself. Hopefully he's just super diligent. That's probably it. So I had to make a decision this morning based on priorities. Now you have to base your priorities off of something. It could be the most important thing. It could be like I end up deciding today, the thing others can't do. Let's unlock this. But we all have to leave the homestead to go to work, even if it's just to go inside and go to work. Actually, I'm, or, or over there, that's where I'm going to work today with the podcast. Here's another basis for deciding. Can I do it later? Generally, no, no, not generally. No, you can't milk later. So that has to be done. And I wanted to show you guys this fly spray. Double vote for let's milk these cows. Tricky move today too. They're going across the street to the farmhouse yard. You're diligent this morning or my time clock is wrong. I just woke up early today. Okay, cool. We're gonna have to lead them out. There's a gate there, and then back down the road. And they're gonna have to make that turn there somehow. I'm thinking since I'm pretty much by myself, I can't have the little kids help with stud. I need to park the Sally in this road. Let's bring Sally, put her right here, and hopefully that'll stop them from going that way. I've unlocked you guys from your legs. Okay, y'all stand there. Man, that's a good looking cow. Those are the two I wanna cut out. Look at those flies. We're coming at you, flies. We're coming at you. Trying to get behind him. So I'm getting too far behind him so that she starts going. Try to get around him without making eye contact. This one I have to head off. Here we go, let's go. Let's go, come on. Wrong way. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess we could go this way. We're gonna get some grass just like this. Uh, come on. Come on, Joey. I'm not gonna get too set on my route goal because, I don't know, the animals might have a different plan and it might end up being, being easier. All we gotta do is get them down to that corner. You're crazy. Okay, now we gotta get them right there and not go around the house. Tear up all the rest of the landscape. Let's go, right? I don't think they see it. I can't blame them. There we go, there you see it. He sees it. No, you saw it, Joey. You saw it. No, no. Ah. What is this the idea? Okay, we got Joey so close. Can we get Joey? Okay. I guess we're gonna walk you around the house. Thankfully, we're re-landscaping this house. No, not our juniper. All right, we're back to where I imagined we would be. Okay. Now wait. See if they go up the road there. All right, this is this is turning out to be impossible by myself. My, I wish I could help He's going the wrong way. You guys didn't work at all. Your legs didn't work at all. Come on, Joey, out of the garden. In fairness, he doesn't know what we want him to do. Okay, Rebecca, I need you to stand right here with a staff and don't let them pass. We're trying to herd him up the road. I want him to go towards Rebecca. Well, he's got an itch. I'm cutting him off from going behind the house. Mom's cutting him from going behind. 
There you go. We want him back on the road. All right, let's try to get a stud. Here we go. He sees it. He knows what we want now. Now there's no excuse. Woo! Now to get Joey. He'll want to be with stud. There he is. This is disappointing. We like this juniper because it's privacy between the two houses. That went much smoother with Rebecca, so lesson learned. Next time we have a tricky move, get some help or put up a temporary net. The collars, what about the collars? We were gonna do that today. Maybe it's a bad decision. Maybe I should just put it off. It's hard to know for sure. If it goes smooth, it's probably a good decision. If it goes badly, I can give myself enough margin. Okay, that's more Synergy Animal Products. Let's just do the model today. Hopefully these holes are right. If these holes are right and we don't have to punch anymore, it's going smooth. If not, then I gotta go back in the house to get the hole punch, and that's not going smooth. We just got 20 minutes. Let's leave Flossie there. We'll get her in the stanchion though a little in a little bit. Definitely need a hole punch, but I think put it on loose today and just tighten it up another day. Looks good, honey. We've got them switched. Flossie's in the stanchion. We need to get her eating though. Or she's just going to be bothering us. Calf's on her, so she doesn't really have any milk. We're just getting her used to us. Good job, Lily, you cow whisperer. Look, she's not even tied up, y'all. See if this is going to work. By the way, I got no, I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this like everybody else, so I'm going to tell you if it doesn't work. Looks like we're killing them. So they're going to sprawl around and annoy her. And spray her and then grab that brush. You'll thank me. Does that brush feel good, honey? She likes that. Are we bonding, Posse? Whoa. You think it worked? You think so, Poss? I don't think there's up. Oh, there's one fly. One fly landed on her. Let's see how long it lasts. Does it last the entire milking time? Brush your udder off. I think, honey, we're gonna see a more visible difference. Look at all those flies. Visually, must be a couple hundred flies. Boom, dropping. Wow, what is that? They, they do not like. Hey, we're gonna get used to each other, right, honey? You'd be like, oh, that feels good, oh. After that happens, I don't have any more itchy flies. That's crazy. Okay, so you could visually see it better here. A few are landing. They're dropping off. What? I think they're dying. They're landing on her and then dying. Mucho flies. Barely any flies. I don't know, it's been 10, 15 minutes. Holy smokes. Guys, it's working. Wow, we are over time. It's 8.45. Okay. Hey, John. Nicole, how's it going? Good. How are you, bro? Good. We were running a little bit of late, hitting some snags. We got the superior cow cream, udder cream. She's got this rash on the side of her udder. It's another essential oil thing from Synergy Animal Products. Let's put a little bit on since you're still milking. That's kind of like a heel all. Pretty smooth, man. Mm. Good job. Oh. Honey's, honey's not going to get the memo, though. You stand on the other side. It's going to be tricky with the calf. They want to be with the others, though. Good deal. John, how's it been going over at the Veterans Healing Farm? Oh, you still running it? No, I'm not. I'm actually uh, taking a little break. But no. it's still going. It's still going. It's okay. Going great. If you get nervous during the podcast, you just can hug that pillow. <laughs> well, we just recorded. How'd you think it went? Yeah, it went great. It went great. Sound guy says it went good. Uh, thank you guys for sharing. Super, super vulnerable. Going to places with us. John has one of those stories where he's a veteran. 
and burden for the veteran community and wanting to help for some of the issues they face, he started the Veterans Healing Farm. And his story's so compelling because he started this farm, but then various things happened and he ended up needing help himself and he took it. It was that whole, you gotta put the oxygen mask on yourself first before you put it on others and that's hard. But he was able to do it. And they've gotten the help they need, even resigning from the Veterans Healing Farm but is still thriving. It's, an, it's their encouragement. Bratwurst for lunch. That's like a super easy meal. Got peppers and onions cooking separately. A little bacon grease in there. We learned to cut it up and then it gets fried on more sides. A little more butter. It's the burn it up cooking show in here for sure. Boom! That's a quick and easy homestead meal right there. And here's the key. Top it off with some sauerkraut. Just tested a live stream. Food did come out. Are you planning camping? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decide where we're gonna go. We accidentally found these amazing camp spots one time when we had to abandon ship so long ago. That's why I say this is our first time camping because we set up the tent and never slept. We never slept in it. We had to come home. We had to come home both nights. We had to come home. How's that farmer's fast food, my man? Good. There's a the rice? Yep, we got the rice going. If you haven't already heard, the School of Traditional Skills with Josh Thomas. I'm proud to be a part of it. They've already got 65,000 people signed up for this free online summit. It's free. And you guys will be able to, there'll be a live presentation with me on raising your own meat chickens. Did you find it? Well, she I think said we, she can, found we it. can check it out on the way there. We're going on a Thursday because hopefully there won't, everybody ha doesn't else have this idea because when we were trying to camp that one year, a lot of the camp spots were taken too. Back to the summit. This is not any old summit, guys. This, this was a film production crew of four people and the quality was absolutely amazing. I've never been a part of anything like it. So I'm very proud to be a part of it. The traditional skills you're gonna learn though, are absolutely incredible. Joel Salatin's got a lesson, Sally Fallon, Brandon Sheard on home butchery, uh, and many other things. There's a raised there's a raised garden bed one. Guys, I can't just eat pork. It, get, it doesn't sit well with me. I get a little nauseous. I know, that's a curse for a carnivore, right? You can't eat pork? Come on. Oh, I guess I heard you a plate and didn't need to. All right, anyway, I'm gonna teach you how to raise a year's worth of chicken in two months. I don't think you want to miss that. Sign up. I'll leave the link for it down in the description. The summit is totally free and then you'll have the option to buy this, I guess it's a master class membership type of thing. Hey, are we gonna eat? It's time to eat, Henry. Well, he's into those batteries. Day two of a hundred carnivore. This time around, I'm doing pickles right off the bat and I'm doing sauerkraut. Alright, make some sauerkraut. Because I'm relatively 100% sure those things don't affect me in a negative way. Maybe it's because they don't have carbs. Somebody on, on my Twitter feed said, maybe you're carbohydrate intolerant. I hope not. I hope I just have lime and I can get it at bay and eat sort of like a normal person. The cool thing about carnivore though, it is an optimal diet. Whether you need to have it because you have Lyme disease or not, it is optimal. I gave him his meat, but he's reaching for this butter. You want a piece of butter? Here. Dude's naturally a carnivore. I've got to go to an acupuncture appointment. I'm going to leave you guys here with Rebecca. She's going to be prepping some meals for the camp out. I am back. Oh boy. They have gone through it. Oh wait, what you doing? Hobo packets going in the oven. You guys are going to eat marshmallows, hash browns for your hobo packets. No. There's hash browns. What's in a hobo packet? Uh, potatoes, onions, meat, and cheese. Okay, nice. Mom's got some pancake mix. She already made the batter? Yeah. Hey, look at this. Is that Jonah. to get it up to this kitchen counter height? Yep, this was Jonah's. That's nice. 
thing. Is that the table we're gonna take? Yes. Are you done using it? Because that's probably the first thing we need to pack. You excited, Bird? Yes. It's the first time I've ever gone camping. Mm. As much as we want to go pack the trailer, kids, guess what? We can't leave one project for another as much as we want to. Let's clean this kitchen. We finished cleaning up, didn't have any time to go packing. But thankfully, Grandma's having us tonight. We're having turkey. Thank you, Grandma. Look out y'all's window. How, how's that for a view? You guys been enjoying that? Yeah. Is that weird? Coming no. from Florida. <laughs> what would your friends think? You got sheep mowing your front yard. I told Buddy. That was a nice view, though. I said, Buddy, you better be quiet. John is saying you can. Well, they're getting at something out there. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll just set up the net and you can move it when we're gone. You can move them over. Hang tight. We're going to show you guys their setup, where they're going next. But let's eat first. Delicious meal at Grandma's. Let's go check out where we're going with these sheep. What, you think I'm opening it up? Oh look, they've trained the little ones. Good things happen when we come around. Okay, next up, right here, we'll block off the garden. We'll come in down in here. I'm gonna and capture this. This is what they really like. Yard's okay, but they really like this stuff. It's hard for me to know for sure if they're done. See how they're eating around these clumps? There's a reason they're not eating those clumps. And I don't want to force them to, so we'll probably move them out. Actually, Grandma said they're done with the garden, so I think they'll like that. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Will you guys join us tomorrow? Thank you for joining us today. I do hope you join us tomorrow, our last day, getting the farm ready for our departure for the big old family camping trip.